Okay, so let's jump into the next um, example, which has specifically has to do with an advanced setting um, that affects our payment date. Okay, now this, this is going to get a little bit tricky, but, but trust me, this is going to be super interesting, especially if what you pull generally or some of the reports that you have to pull have to specifically have to do with showing uh, things, whether uh, they're paid or unpaid. I find that to be um, just really interesting. Okay, so let me uh, pull up a report and I'm going to stick with a summary report. I mean, a detailed report with summary data of invoices. So I'm going to go to transaction detail. I'm going to go to all. Actually, let me do last month. And then I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to go into transaction type. And then I'm going to select uh, invoice again. And then under detail level, I'm going to do summary only. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm just going to narrow down and just kind of get rid of some of these columns here just to avoid any confusion. So I'm going to get rid of most of these. OK. But I'm going to add a new column. I'm going to add a new column, a new field called paid. This is the paid status, paid status, okay? Uh, I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to go to preference. No, sorry, not edit preferences. Whoops. I'm going to go to customize report, and then under columns, I'm going to click paid, right? This is called the paid status, okay? This will actually render the word paid or the word unpaid, okay? This is going to get really interesting really soon, I promise you. So right now, this invoice, invoice, the second one, 1053, is showing unpaid, okay? Now, notice the date range of the reports. This is limited to November 30 of 2018. I'm going to go in and receive a, I'm gonna receive a payment against that invoice. So I'm going to go to customer. I'm going to click on receive payments, and I'm going to select a... December date, so something after the report date. And who was that customer? That was Kitchen Remodel. And I'll go ahead and bring in the whole payment in. Let's say as a check, check number one, two, three. And again, the payment date is 12 15, 2018, even though the invoice uh, period that is showing is up to 11 30. So one of the questions is in your head, before I hit uh, save and close, in your head, are you expecting a paid to show unpaid or are you expecting it to be paid? Put it on the, on the chat box. What are you expecting to see? After I hit uh, uh, save there, are you expecting to see paid or unpaid? Okay, so yeah, so I think most of you, a few of you, some of one person said unpaid, most of you said paid. Okay, so let, let me show you. So let me go ahead and hit save and close. Now that is showing pay because this reporting date has to do with the specific transactions that I'm displaying on the report. I haven't told it anywhere to take a connected transaction, which is a, which is a, a, um, a receive payment and give me information about the date of the connected transaction. Therefore, as of now, even though the report is limited to, let's say, November 30th, that invoice will still show pay. Now, there's a really interesting, cool kind of hidden thing in here. We're going to go to Customize Report, and then we're going to click on Advance. And if you've never been here before, uh, this will kind of blow your mind. <laughs> Because this is something, if you again, if you've never been here before, this is something that you're going to be like, oh, I wasted so many hours of my life trying to figure this out. This little switch can, can change based on when the invoice was paid. So if I click on report date and then I hit OK and then OK, now that's going to show that that's a little bit tricky because... Um, the, the 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 filter goes away, but with that information that I pulled up, I can now pull a different uh, column. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to customize report, and then I'm going to go to open balance, and I'm going to select the open balance column and hit OK. And you see here where 
the open balance on that particular invoice is 93,000 as of the report date. But if I go to customize report, again, advance, and I switch it from report date to current and hit okay, the open balance is zero. Okay, so that's a really important piece in which I'm going to change the nature of what the report is showing because um, I can either calculate it based on the report date or based on whether or not it's paid at any point in time. Okay, really, really important uh, piece of information. Okay, so that's really important. That's, that's on the advanced portion. Now, same thing happens with aging. Let me show you. There's, um, there's a column here called aging and aging will calculate, you know, how old or how much overdue this invoice is. So let me go into the invoice and let me go ahead and delete. I'm going to delete that payment just so we can know exactly what that means. I'm going to go to delete payment and I'm going to make this invoice, uh, terms. I'm going to make it uh, due on receipt and then hit save and close. Yes. So uh, in this particular case, uh, this report doesn't have any aging. Uh, let me just do it a little bit different. Let me do the beginning of the month. So this particular case, the aging on this uh, invoice calculated based on the report date is 29 days, okay? Because this is set up based on uh, the current. But if I, if I click, for example, I'm going to click something more current. I'm going to, I'm going to select the report to be today's date. Then all of a sudden my aging will change because that is now tied to my report. Okay. So that's a really important piece that is going to be tied to my report. So that's kind of like, you know, how, how we work with the aging field, with the open balance field and the paid field. Okay. Now something else that's really important for people to know. If I go to customize report and I go to filters and there's actually a paid filter um, status and I change that to closed and I hit OK, only the invoices that have been paid. Um, in this case, let me just go back to November. It's going to be much easier. So that have been paid up to November are going to show in here. Now, let me go back and receive that payment again for that customer that we were talking about. So let me receive that payment. And that was, I believe it was the kitchen remodel. Yeah, that's the one that it was. Let me receive that payment again, right? And since that one has been paid, that's gonna show up there. However, if I go to customize report and click on advanced, and then I click on report date, again, remember, I am running together hand in hand with a page status filter. So because I got the page status filter and also telling it up to today's date, when I hit okay, even though that invoice has been paid today, December 15th, let's assume it's December 15th, it's still not gonna show on the report because we're telling it to exclude it um, if it hasn't been paid up to the report date, okay? So that's, so that's a really, really important piece because some people say, Show me a report for last month for invoices that were not paid last month. And there, there's the answer. Or, some, or, or, or somebody may say, show me a report for last month's invoices that haven't been paid as of today. So those are, those are really important pieces, especially um, language is really important. So in the case of this particular report that shows, uh, where's my let's do date? I'm going to hit last month that shows last month's invoices that have been paid, however, have been paid as of the report date, that's going to give you an idea of what we should title that report, okay? So that report, in this case, should carry a title that explains that. So we can put here, last month's invoices, and I can put paid up to last month. Right, so that would make tons of sense because I specifically told uh, on the title that they're only showing paid if they were paid up to last month. So if if this was a different filter, if this was current, like this, 
then I would have to change this to be paid as of today. So report titling is really, really important. In my opinion, report titling is your lifeblood in this whole thing because if you label the report wrong and you got some weird filters that you're working with and the user of the report doesn't really understand what contextually they're using, it becomes very difficult. Now, yes, I can click on show here and I can show the filters. And this is if you're working with 2017, they added the filters to show on the top. So if you actually print the report, um, you can see on this on the next page the filters that were used. But come on, realistically speaking, who what average QuickBooks user looks at those filters and says, oh, yeah, I understand the, the information that's being shown here if you're not specifically putting it on the title. So that's a really important uh, piece of information that I that I implore people to, to just keep in mind, um, especially when it comes to uh, report title. 